Since two decades, a fatal tumor is spreading very fast among the world's largest living carnivorous marsupials, the Tasmanian devils. And it has wiped out more than 90% of its population in the wild. In our latest study, together with colleagues from the University of Veterinary Medicine in Vienna, as well as international collaborators from Australia, Canada, and England, we've solved an important part of the puzzling question how this cancer became transmissible, a quite unique phenomenon in nature. Tumors usually grow exclusively in the organism where their cell of origin derives from. They can't just leave the body like a virus or bacteria and infect others. This applies, of course, for human cancers. Apart from some very rare cases, there are no reports of contagious cancer cells. That is because a multitude of molecular safety measures of the immune system exists to reject and destroy any foreign tissue. An exception to this real universal rule exists in this Tasmanian devils. And this is an ancient creature and it's the world's largest living carnivorous marsupial. And these animals suffer from uh, aggressive facial tumor and, uh, which is transmitted by biting. And uh, we understand this from the genetics because uh, all these collected tumors uh, originate from uh, one single cell of origin, which presumably was found in the middle of the 90s of the last century. Analyzing those tumor samples from Tasmanian devils with cutting edge technologies like drug screens and proteomics, we found that receptor molecules on the surface of the cancer cells so-called ERB receptors, show massively increased activity. These receptors trigger a biochemical chain reaction within the tumor cells that eventually activate the STAT3 protein. This key transcription factor is capable of altering a cell's genetic program. The result is an extensive rewiring of the cell. The number of molecules serving as identification for the immune system are reduced, making these cancer cells more or less invisible to the body's defense while at the same time proliferation is accelerated and factors for metastasis of the tumor cells are produced. The most exciting discovery we made was that when we targeted these ERB receptors or the STAT3 protein with drugs, we saw a reduced proliferation and selective killing of the tumor cells. This could provide hope for saving the Tasmanian devil from extinction. Our study is not only a contribution to preserve this marsupial species, it's remarkable that more than 99% of the Tasmanian devil's STAT3 transcription factor is identical to the human protein and many of the genes that are activated by STAT3 in the Tasmanian devil is the same in human cancers such as breast cancer or prostate cancer to give you examples. This doesn't mean that human cancer can become transmissible, at least that's very unlikely. But a better molecular understanding of the devil's disease provides valuable insights into the fundamental biological mechanisms of cancer development. The biological principles of this disease, that is, the invasion of new tissues by cancer cells, are also crucial for our understanding of non-transmissible tumors, especially for cancer metastasis. That is why we believe that our study is a valuable contribution to cancer research, and even beyond that, scientific aspects of cancer, contagious infectious diseases, and inflammatory processes can be studied with this rare phenomenon in Tasmanian devils which really makes it an exceptional model for molecular medicine.